Hey, what's up, friends? Welcome back to the channel. And yes, we're going to be uh, revisiting Avril Lavigne today. And this is very special because, as you guys know, Avril Lavigne, Pink, and Kelly Clarkson are my three, probably my three favorite, like, 2000s big pop artists, right? And we've done three full album reactions to Kelly Clarkson. One of them was Breakaway, obviously. And if you guys remember, Breakaway was one of my favorite songs in that record. And I just, yeah, I just love it. And a lot of you have mentioned that you think the Avril Lavigne's is even better. And you guys know me, I don't like to get into better or worse. They're just different, I'm guessing. But I'm very excited to see kind of where the differences lie because I have it in my head right now. Like Avril is definitely like more emotional and sentimental than Kelly Clarkson. Kelly Clarkson resembles pride and fire in my eyes. And Avril Lavigne is like more watery and heartbroken. <laughs> They're both heartbroken, just in different ways. Kelly is like angry about it. I guess Avril can sometimes be angry about it too. But you know what I mean though? It's like, it's, it's just different. Yeah. And so I'm excited to see how these differences are. But anyway, before we get into it, as always, if you guys have any song quests for me and you want to vote on what artists come on the channel every single week, join everybody in the Discord link down below. And if you want guaranteed song quests and you want to check out all of our full album reactions like I talked about with Kelly Clarkson and everybody else we've done, join everybody in the Patreon. Also link down below. And that's it. So let's get an Avril Lavigne breakaway. <laughs> Make a change and break. 
Wow. That was really that was really cool to listen to to her version. Um That was very interesting. Cause that that is an amazing song. There, there's something about it that's just so fucking human. Um it's so it's, that that might literally be one of the most like relatable songs I've heard in a long time. Like I I really I really connect with this song. You know my my life like you know I I always kind of felt a bit trapped growing up. You know I was always kind of an outsider. I was a lone wolf. I was you know yeah just didn't really fit in too much. You know what I mean? Um, and I don't know. There's just like it's not just the lyrics in this one it's it's really not it, it's it's just something about it it's like this this song is just it's a powerful song and what's really interesting is the is the differences in the feelings and the vibes between her and Kelly Clarkson in this song. because this one I feel a lot more than Kelly's Kelly when she did it and again it's one of my favorite Kelly Clarkson songs but when Kelly did it, I feel like she was telling me, I'm going to do this. I'm going to break away. You know what I mean? You're going to watch me as I, as I break away. And when Avril sings, it, it feels more to me like she's in pain. And she's like, I, I just want to break away. I, I, I just, I need to get out of here. You know, I just, I finally, I need to figure out who I am. And Avril feels like a young girl or a young boy who is at their breaking point while simultaneously at the bet that the cliff that on the edge of their life, their life is about to start. You know what I mean? And, you know, cause with great despair comes, um, dreams. You know what I mean? When, when you hit that really low point, you start dreaming, you start realizing you can't just keep going through, you can't keep sleepwalking. You know what I mean? You gotta make a change. And that's what Avril's version feels like to me. It feels like somebody who's just realized they need to make a change. You know what I mean? And I can feel the pain. I can feel the questions. I can feel the aimlessness. I can feel the dreams. I can feel the, like in this version and in Avril's version. And it's probably because she wrote it. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, you can have a great cover. Kelly can do the best job she could possibly do. But these are not her words. You know, she wasn't up at 3 a.m., you know, maybe crying maybe in love with this idea you know just her and her notepad you know just pouring her heart out to this little book and dreaming about all the things she's gonna do with her life kelly didn't do that you know what i mean it's like maybe she could so, like when she was gonna do this song she could do that after the fact but i think there's a special thing when you write a song when it comes from your experiences your pain your dreams, your aspirations. I think there's something that just cannot be copied. You know what I mean? And I think, yeah, I think this was very cool hearing Avril do it. I kind of would want to hear Pink's version too. <laughs> you know what I mean? I feel like Pink would have an interesting thing, but they've all written songs like this. Pink wrote, um, what was the one? I've loved everything we've heard by Pink. Um, what was the one when it's her being like a cheerleader in the front? I forget. Um, it's the last one we did by Pink um, on Misunderstood. I forget the song name, but it's her version of this essentially. It's her version of saying, I never fit in. You know what I mean? It's the one she, she quotes, I, I'm not as pretty as Britney Spears. Um, you know what I mean? And I hate myself. Yeah, just, I think these three artists are just very special. Kelly, again, reminds, symbolizes pride for me. Kelly's pride. Kelly is, I'm going to tell you, you know what I mean? Avril is emotional dreams. Avril is like pain in a very felt sense so say same with pink is it's funny they kelly pink and avril they, they share a lot in common actually and they have some differences too but they share a lot in common it's like they share this like core kind of identity this core want in life to be themselves but how they kind of describe it to us and how they 
live within that dream is kind of with different energies. You know what I mean? I, I just find it fascinating and I just, I love all three of them in very different ways. Um, oh, let go 20th anniversary edition. Um, Breakaway is a song by Avril Lavigne originally intended for her debut studio album, let go, but was not included on the album at the time. Pardon me. The re-recorded version of the song with different instrumentation and vocals appears on the anniversary edition of this one of the album. The demo version of the song recorded in 2001 appeared online the, in full for the first time in 2014. We we should do a reaction of that one too. That would be awesome. The song was later given to Kelly Clarkson to record and release on the soundtrack for the for the film The Princess Diaries 2 Royal Engagement. Wow. Uh, Great song, man. Great song. What have the artists said about the song? Avril Lavigne um, in 2019 opened up a better history of the song and how sh she'll be performing the song for the first time live during the Head Above Water tour. It was a huge hit for Kelly Clarkson about 15 years ago, and I've never performed that song, but this tour I'm performing Breakaway for the first time. I wrote that song for my first album. I'm excited to sing this this one, and Kelly's great, and the song was huge. <laughs> so, like, just a matter of fact, like, it was big. Huge. Um... Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I think this is a special song, man. I really do. Did Travis Barker do the drums on it? Sounds like he did. Maybe not. Huh, because it has the Travis Barker kind of sound on the drums. You know what I mean? Wow, though. Amazing song. What do you guys think? What is your favorite preferred version? Let me know down below. And also, I want to give a big shout out to my tier three patrons. So we got, of course, Laura, Amber, Kelly, Melanie, uh, Scott, Andy, Ayla, Charles, Francis, Lorne, Mans, Matthias, Melissa, Merrick, Michael, Nora, Paul, Robbie, Sebastian, and Tass. So shout out to all of you guys. I'll see everybody again tomorrow. I love you.